world leaders, heads of state, and governments will meet for the Summit of the Future this September in New York. It will be a once-in-a-generation opportunity to build a better world by strengthening our ability to act together. The summit will adopt the Pact for the Future, which is a political document currently being negotiated. An initial version of the Pact text was shared in January, and on May 14th, its first version was published. The main changes related to Chapter 3 on Science, Technology, Innovation, and Digital Cooperation are Rev 1 marks a significant departure from the initial zero draft in its approach to harnessing science, technology, and innovation STI, for sustainable development under the 2030 Agenda. Rev 1 introduces novel elements such as integrating social science, arts, and humanities into policy making, independent scientific advice, and in the scientific advisory board, and promoting responsible research that upholds human rights. Certain specific benefits and provisions outlined in the Zero Draft, such as terms like disparities and references to international declarations like the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action, are absent in REV1. Despite these omissions, REV1 reflects emerging priorities voiced by member states as per the compilation text document. It prioritizes issues such as fostering North-South cooperation, integrating human rights perspective into technology norm setting, and adopting flexible intellectual property rights for technological innovation. These additions underscore a commitment to equitable access and inclusive development in the realm of technology. REV1 addresses current challenges posed by digital technologies, especially concerning gender-related risks and the need for conducive working conditions to prevent brain drain. It acknowledges heightened risks to children, especially girls, from digital technologies and proposes effective measures to mitigate these risks. Overall, REV1 integrates the essence of the Zero Draft and the spirit of the compilation text while aiming to create a more concise and action-oriented document. Learn more at www.sotf.com.